Now after you've finished highlighting, contouring, and applying the foundation, you can take a powder, a pressed powder. This is actually Max Studio Fix. I know I wasn't going to do product promotions and placements. But the reason I like to use this to set the under eye powder is because it's got the titanium flex in it. So it reflects and it makes the, uh, the light, you know, diffused, kind of soften under that area. It kind of creates an optical illusion. This one is actually NW30 because I have olive skin tone, so I want that little red base to counteract the olive darkness of the circles under the eyes. And you can also pat it along a little bit. No, don't put too much of it though. Now, for this particular look, I'm going to use Overall Beauty Minerals because I carry that in the store. But before that, I'm going to use a primer. If you don't have a primer, but you have sort of like jumbo eye pencils, these are old MAC shade sticks, you can use that too. But what you want to do is you want to apply it to the areas where you're going to put the eyeshadow to kind of create a base and make it last a little bit longer. And again, see how it looks kind of obnoxious and bright right now? It doesn't have to look perfect yet because we're not done. Sort of my highlight color. And then I've got my other color to kind of fill in everywhere else. Sometimes men ask why do women open their mouths when they're applying eyeshadow like that. It's because it helps stretch the skin by flexing the muscles. So now you can tell everyone that you have an answer to that question. This one's a little bit darker because I'm going to put this right, right along where my bone is. Now if your bone's a little bit higher than where your eyelid is, you want to use a lighter color because then you'll end up looking like Creole de Ville or something. You don't want your crease to be, you know, like all the way up here. Uh, if you have really, you know, like hollow kind of shape to your eyes. I'm not worrying about softening that just yet. Well, just a little bit. And when I work on other people, I don't really use my fingers a lot. And if I do, I use gloves and I sterilize everything because I'm kind of a germaphobe. Anyway, now we're ready for the eyeshadow. So I have to find the right brush that I want to use. 